In numbers 16 through 19, we're learning about vertical stretches or shrinks and horizontal stretches or shrinks. And we're also learning about reflection. So we're dealing with the parent graph y equals absolute value of x. And let's learn about vertical stretches or shrinks. And that occurs when you have a constant on the outside of the absolute value. So for example, in number 16, that's a vertical stretch by a factor of two. So what we do is we look to see if the number that's outside of the absolute value, we're looking at it without its sign. Okay, so we are only looking at two. And if it was negative, we would still only be looking at two. If that number is greater than one, then that's considered a vertical stretch. If that number, remember without its sign, okay, is less than one, then we say there is a vertical shrink. Now, two, absolute value of two is greater than one, so this is a vertical stretch by a factor of two. So what we do is we look for a given x value what the old y value was, and in this case, we multiply it by 2. So for example, when x was 0, y was 0, well, 0 times 2 is still 0. And when x was 1, y was 1, 1 times 2 is 2. When y was 2, when x was 2, y was 2, 2 times 2 is 4. When x was 3, y was 3, and 3 times 2 is 6. And I'm just going to use the concept of symmetry, meaning the fact that this graph is symmetrical with respect to the y-axis. And I'm just going to put the points on the left of the y-axis as well. So we will have these points, and at negative 3, it will be 6. So this is what the graph would look like. Now let's talk about horizontal stretches or shrinks. So in here, the concept is that if we are dividing by a constant, this is the way our book teaches it, that if we have the absolute value of x divided by a constant that we call d, then if d, the absolute value of d, is greater than 1, then it's a horizontal stretch. And if the absolute value of d is less than 1, then there's a horizontal shrink. Well, let's look. If we want to convert this the way our book teaches it, then it would have to be absolute value of x divided by 1 half, because when you divide by 1 half, that's the same as multiplying by 2. So absolute value of 1 half is less than 1. So this is really a horizontal shrink by a factor of 1 half. So we take the old x values in this case. For a given y value, we take the x value and we divide it by 2. Okay, so when you, you take 0 divided by 2, it's still 0. But say for when y is 1, you take the old x value, which was 1, and divide it by 2, so it's half of what it was. Or let's say when y was when y is two, its x value was two. Now divide that by two, and you get one. Let's take three when y is, was three, x was three. Divide that by two, and you get one and a half. When y is four, the x was four. Divide that by two, and you get two. When x is 5, when y is 5, the x 
was 5, divide that by 2 and you get 2.5. So you're dividing the horizontal by half of what it was. You don't actually have to deal with the numbers. You could just take the horizontal distance and make it half of what it was. Okay, so and use the concept of symmetry. Or you can also look at the slope. But it's easier to just use the concept of symmetry. Okay, notice this gives us the same graph as the graph of 2 times the absolute value of x, because in this case, a horizontal shrink by a half is the same as a vertical stretch by a 2. Okay, let's take a look at number 18. Now here we have a negative on the outside of the absolute value. Okay, so that is over here where the C, when the C is outside and it's less than 0, so that's a reflection across the x-axis. So whenever you have a negative outside of the absolute value, it looks like the same graph as the parent graph, except it's reflected over the x-axis. So it looks like a V going this way. Okay. So this is y equals negative absolute value of x. We say reflection across x-axis. So number 19 is a combination of all of these, everything that we've learned. So let's get y by itself before we start to analyze it. So we have to add 2 to both sides. So this 1 third, absolute value of 1 third, is less than 1. So this is a vertical shrink by 1 third. This is a horizontal shift. And remember, horizontal is the opposite of the sign. So this is really 1 to the left. And this one is two up. This is a vertical shift up to. So we're going to go one to the left and up to. And we're going to shrink by a third. So we're going to, normally we would be going up one and over one. Normally we would be doing this. We would be graphing our absolute value of x from there. Okay, but we're going to now take those and vertically we're going to go one third the distance that we would normally be going. So that would be over here and one-third of that would be something like this. So one-third of that one would be something like this. You don't have to do a very, very accurate graph, okay? Um, we're just scratch sketching, but it would look something like this, and this would be one-third of what it was, and one-third, and so on. So the graph would look something like this. It's wider than it was before. Okay. Um, vertically, it has been shrunk. Okay. 